Okay, I just got back from a client's and I thought this would be um, something I could do a video on is showing you guys some of the equipment that I travel with when I go to different clients' houses to work with their horses and just kind of what's in the back of my truck. Um, and I keep this in the truck at all times, so I'm always ready to go. And of course, the horses have to come join me. This is Raven. She's going to come say hi. Raven, you want to do the video with me? Show them what's in my box, my trainer's box. And then let's see, we got River coming up. Say hi. Do you want to help do the video? Show what's in the box? Uh-huh. That's my trainer's box. Did she know? She can tell. Okay, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start talking about the video. I'm gonna drop the bed. There you go. Can you walk away? There you go, good girl. Okay, so let me show you. Um, what's in the box. Okay, first off, I always travel with a smaller version of my reverse round pen, and that's these ext <laughs> Raven's still here. Um, extendable poles right here. They, I'll show you a, a picture of what that looks like, but this is part of my reverse round pen, and I can set it up as protected contact for training with any of my clients' horses, and I have a few of the cones that it attaches to. There's also a food pan up here. It's kind of extra, and that's my dog's crate. Um, my Rottweiler is a little bit big to fit in the cab of the truck when we have kids in the truck. And so um, that, that's one of a crash tested crate that is secured back there. And then also my fifth wheels there. Okay, so let's talk about the box. So that's the important part here. And it's, it's a box I got from, I think I got it from like Ikea or something. It's an all weather kind of box. It's meant for storage um, out in like a garage or something. And I just keep this in the back of my truck all the time. It never leaves. I know. Oh, Finn has joined us. <laughs> you guys are so no nosy. Like, I can't do anything without you guys being right here and, and just very interested. I gotta show them what's in here. Ta-da! So here's my box. <laughs> um, she's gonna try and dig in here. Alright, so in my box... On the top layer, I've got the stuff that I use most often. So this is a food pan. I always have food pans so that I can feed from the ground. And I have that extra one that's back over there, but this is just the main one that I use. This is a bag that I can put loose hay or alfalfa in. You don't have to use, I mean, you can use whatever bag you want. It's just a cheap bag that I found and I just stuff it full of alfalfa and it's like a crossbody, um, So I can put alfalfa in it easily and use that for training. I also have two pouches, one for a client and one for me, so anybody who's practicing. And there's also a clicker in here. Tons of clickers inside my box. They're everywhere. Um, so I've got clickers, training pouches. Let's take off the top layer. All right, now I've got, um, I've got three cones in here. Sometimes I have more. These are cones that I use for target training. And I'm not going to pull those out, but inside of them, and obviously this is really well organized right now, it's not usually this organized, is my stationary target that I can just tie up and teach the horses to station with. Put that one back. I'm not to disorganize my box since I spent all this time fixing it up for this video. Here I actually, I travel with hay pellets. So I travel with alfalfa timothy pellets that are larger, and then I travel with smaller ones. Um, Here's an example. So I travel with all the hay pellets that I would need for a training session. Although usually my clients provide the training um, pellets that I would need, but this is in case we run out or I'm at a new place and um, then this is an extra foot armor <laughs> kit. Okay, so that's some of it. I also have dog treats in here somewhere over there. So I always travel with like my dried liver dog treats and a training pouch for my dogs and an extra leash for my dogs, um, just in case, because they're with me all the time. Then here's my target sticks. I have a couple of these. River, stop. Don't get into that. So I always have um, target sticks. And there's two in here, I believe. Yes, here's the second one. So I have target sticks, an extra, and one for me to train with. Then here is a tripod. I always have my tripods in case I need to, or actually I frequently record my training sessions with my clients' horses so I can evaluate them later or I can show my clients um, after the training session if they weren't able to be there. That's something else that I'm able to do if I record them. So I always have this collapsible tripod with me 
and that's really helpful. Okay, I have extra rags. Okay, my horses are being super extra right now. Come here, guys. Okay, so I have extra um, rags if I need them. Here is a folder, and inside this folder I have um, liability releases, so for training, and also I have different printouts that have information on them um, to share with clients, so anything, like sometimes I have hoof material, like educational material in here, and I have um, also have stuff on diet and nutrition and also training, so there's different printouts in here as well as like training contract stuff and liability releases. Okay, last thing, I think is last thing, this is a bag that I keep extra target sticks in and, um, tar and clickers for clients if they want to buy one from me and I'll, sometimes I'll keep an extra um, training pouch in here as well in case they want to buy it from me directly and not wait. So I tend to be somebody who just wants to buy right away so I don't blame them. Oh wait, no, I have more. I forgot. Okay, so I have an extra saddle pad here that's really good for like desensitizing and prepping horses for riding. Um, it's just a really good training tool. Yeah, so training saddle pad, old saddle pad get out some of this stuff so we can see. Just gonna unpack. Never mind. So much for keeping it organized. Okay. I also have long lines in here, which are good for lunging or um, in hand work or driving work or preparation for reins and start, you know, teaching rain cues. Um, so there's two different lines in here, long lines. And then I also have an extra girth, which is beneficial for also desensitizing and preparing horses to ride. Um, this is actually, whoop, hello. Thank you for bumping my camera. This is actually, <laughs> no, that is the dog training pouch, not the horse training pouch. Yeah, so these are actually in there. This one is in there from, because um, it's it's hard, the girths, like they need to match the horse and stuff. So this is actually in there from a very specific horse that I was am working with that their girth that they had was too small. And so I just brought my extra one. It's just a cheap old one. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what's inside my box. Uh, trying to keep my horses from digging around in it too much but this just stays with me all the time and is just something that I travel with like literally all the time it sits in this truck that never leaves because if it does I would inevitably forget it and okay everything's falling apart yeah, if I ever took this stuff out of the training box as soon as I would need to go somewhere to see a client and I would need something that I took out of it. So I kind of add stuff to this box gradually over time to whatever I find. Like, oh, this, you know, I'm working with a horse that needs work on this specific thing. Well, a lot of times what will happen is we'll go into the box and then never leave. So it becomes <laughs> this growing thing that I just start collecting stuff in. Um, but the really the biggest thing here is having my targets having a feed pan, those are things I use the most, the tripod and extra hay pellets. Um, those are really important. I use those all the time. Yeah, so that's just everything that I travel with on a daily basis and what you don't get to see is what's inside of the cab of the truck, which um, really quick, I usually in the backpack that I travel with, I have like a, oh, hi, hi, sweetie. I know, I know, sweetie. I probably smell like another horse right now. Um, another thing I have in there, I keep inside the cab of the truck is I always keep some hats. I keep extra hats. I keep sunglasses. I keep, um, different audio recorders. So if I ever want to pop on like, um, a lapel and all of that and take good audio for any videos I'm taking, I keep extra SD cards for storage, um, for my cameras. And what else do I keep in there? Um, I always have my coffee. So I travel with coffee have train or have coffee, we'll travel. Um, let's see, I have my coffee, I have water, lots of water, I keep extra water bottles in there. I try and keep non-plastic ones, so like a metal bottle, so because it gets really hot here. I keep extra sunscreen all the time, um, and usually I have an extra shirt. I'll have an extra sun, sun shirt in case something is dirty, and extra jackets in case the weather turns bad all of a sudden. Um, you know, Everything else you would have in a car too, I keep in there. I keep quite a bit of stuff. I keep it all well organized and I have um, also trailer hitch stuff and jumper cables and anything I would need for my trailer really. Not everything because I keep a lot of stuff in the trailer if I'm going to have the trailer. But anything I would need for my truck um, and of course then all my kids have a stuff too because I oftentimes have my kids with me. Sometimes even at appointments they'll like sit in the truck and wait for me to finish. 
And so they'll usually have an iPad and then they have their car seats and they have snacks. We always are bringing food. I bring food everywhere I go. All my snacks, all my meals for that day because we don't live near anywhere um, or the ranch isn't anywhere near where we could run by like fast food or something. Of course, we could stop at gas stations, but that's also it gets expensive and it's not healthy. So I try and pack food. I always have at least a lunch and some snacks for that day. Um, so I have one meal at least packed and then definitely for my kids too. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything I travel with. And, and sometimes, you know, I add more takeaway stuff, but that's kind of the bulk of it and the, the average stuff that I travel with. So yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm.